What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy New Year's to everyone. So I am on the road. I just left about 15 minutes ago. Today, I'm only going to drive about three hours because I'm not in any type of hurry to get where I'm going. I have until January the 4th to get to my first campground of 2023. And another reason why I'm just moseying along is because it's football day. And I'm going to find me a nice rest stop, post up, watch some football all day, do some cooking, and then stay there overnight and continue on tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited that, you know, I can just take my time and relax and I don't have to do a whole lot of driving at uh, one time. It's actually about 11 and a half hours to uh, get to the first campground. So I have about two or three days to divide 11 and a half hours up. So definitely going to be taking my time. All right, guys, uh, I catch up with you guys once I make it to my first rest stop. Oh, you know what I wanted to share with you guys? I use, I'm use i using this app. I downloaded the app uh, before I left Baltimore. And the app is an, it's an exit app. I'm gonna try to put a screenshot up here for you guys. It's an exit app. And it has all the exits along. All you have to do is put what highway you're on. And it already, it automatically, you know, knows where you are. And it tells you all the exits that are coming up. And one thing I love about this app is that it also tells you where the uh, rest stops are coming up, how many miles the rest stops are away. And each exit, it also tells you what's there, like, and like a hotel, like a place to eat, gas, and if you press the little icon on it, it will list the actual gas stations that are on that exit, the actual hotels that are on that exit, and you can also type in and search something like Walmart, because I typed in the Walmart because I wanted to stop at Walmart some, somewhere along uh, before getting to the campground, and you can type that in and it'll tell you the next uh, closest Walmart and the exit. I am loving that app. And I'm telling you now, it's so, so helpful when you're on the road and you maybe have to use the bathroom and you want to know what, when the next exit or how far the next exit is. It's a good app. All right, enough rambling on for now. Uh, I'll catch up with you guys when I get to my rest stop in about three hours. All right, guys, I decided to pull over and go to this Waffle House right here and have some breakfast. So let's go get some breakfast. Thank you. I like to mix my scramble eggs with the uh, grits. Thank you. Oh my goodness, y'all. I have a, a waffle, scrambled eggs and grits, sausages and bacon, and my OJ. Woohoo, it's about to be a feast. Oh, no, you know what? I changed my mind. I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
Waffle House waffles. Mm, I don't know what kind of batter they use, but it is so good. Hi guys finished from waffle house man that food was so good so i went in there to use the restroom and they had a sign up there waffle house is paying 18 dollars an hour i was like what <laughs> all right all right guys that should hold me until later on and i'll have my second meal so let's get back on the road all right guys i pulled over at a rest stop um i passed one other rest stop since I left uh, Waffle House and this is the second rest stop that I came to. And I'm starting to notice a trend that there is no overnight parking. So I'm a little concerned that where I'm going to park and uh, stay overnight if the rest stops uh, don't allow overnight parking. Um, the next rest stop that I get to is the one that I had anticipated on uh, staying overnight, but if I get to that rest stop and there's no overnight parking, I think what I'm gonna do is just stay there anyway until I watch some football and I'll probably leave around eight o'clock or so and then go to like a pilot or flying J or something like that and stay overnight. All right, that's just a quick update on what's going on. I really like staying at um, rest stops because you know, it's easy access to the restroom and you know, it's open 24 seven. You don't have to go into a business like, like a Flying J or TNA or anything like that. And then you start to feel obligated that you need to, to buy something. So cross the thing is that the next rest stop is uh, going to allow overnight parking. I hope so. All right, guys, I'm at the next uh, rest stop, which is also a no overnight parking. So I'm just gonna hang out here until around eight o'clock tonight, um, watch some football, and then I'm going to just find the nearest truck stop, like a Pilot, Flying J, or TNA, or one of those places, and just park there and sleep there overnight, and then get going again in the morning. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right about here because I'm not going to do too much more today. Um, like I said, I'm just going to stay here at this uh, rest stop until 7 or 8 o'clock, finish watching up some football. And then I'm going to find like a truck stop, like a pilot, a flying J or a TNA, one of those type places. And I'm going to stay overnight there. But before I end the video, I wanted to share something with you guys. Um, going into 2023, the FOA community is going to have a new motto. And the motto is, do something different, go someplace different. So I created these uh, t-shirts 
uh, for the FOA community that says just that. On the front, I'll put a little picture up here uh, somewhere. On the front of it, it says, uh, I can't remember offhand what it say, which, which is up front. Uh, Do something different, FOA Squad 2023, or the Go Someplace Different um, Life with Anthony. I think it's do something different. I'll just put it up here. But um, yeah, I wanted to go into the new year on a very, very positive note for the FOA community as well as myself. And I know there are probably many of you who probably didn't do a lot of things uh, last year. So this year, I want you guys to do 10 things that you did not do last year and I want you to go 10 places that you have not gone before last year, okay? I myself, I'm going to try to go to 10 different places this year that I have not been before, and I'm going to try and do 10 different things that I have not done before. Now this is the whole year, so you have a whole year to do 10 different things and go 10 different places. Now those 10 things could be something as simple as, you know, you've been walking past this bakery in your neighborhood for a, a minute now and never stopped in. And then all of a sudden, one of your things could be you, you stop in that bakery and, and get some pastries or something. Or it can be as big as doing something different. I mean, maybe you've been wanting to change your job for many years now. Maybe you've been wanting to move to a different area for many years now. Well, this year is the year that I want you guys to do 10 things different that you have not done before and go 10 places that you have not gone. Now, I know it sounds like a lot, but you have a whole year, 2023, to accomplish these things. And to commemorate this this positive energy that the FOA community exudes. Uh, again, I have some t-shirts that are now available in the uh, FOA merchandise store. Now, the last thing I want to say about the uh, t-shirts and this positive thing, because one thing I can say about the FOA community is that we are definitely a community of support, a community of inspiration, a community of motivation we inspire we motivate one another each other to to be our best and to live our best lives and through you guys i'm allowed to do that and i want us to have something that unifies that for the foa community now the good part about all of this wonderful news going into 2023 is these t-shirts are going to be the lowest price t-shirts that you probably will see ever on the FOA merchandise store and that's because I'm only going I, I, I priced these t-shirts so that I will only make one dollar profit for each sale so I was able to bring the t-shirts down at a much lower cost so check them out if you like i think they look really cool they're really simple it just has the words i love the way the words look they are in a, a red and a white and they are in the men's t-shirt and the women's t-shirt so make sure if you purchase one you purchase the man or the woman one but i think they look cool and Again, it's just something that is going to bring the FOA community together even more in 2023 and the years to come. So check them out. Let me know if you like them. Let me know what you think about them. And as always, thanks. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a lot of distraction here at this rest, uh, rest stop. As always, guys, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.